Now I know it's 10 in the morning, or 10 at night actually, but who cares? I literally have basically no life, besides, you know, going to school and all that fun things, but anyways, um, this is just vid. This is basically the same as the video I uploaded the other day, because I'm really bored. And hopefully I can get my Neon Uni done, because I got Cupcake almost to posting. Just a couple more needs, and then posting. It's kind of weird how it goes from teen to posting, Link. It's kind of weird, but uh, I don't know. Adopt me is a uh, adopt me. And um this video may be a bit more serious, quote unquote, because there's something important I'm going to talk about. Basically, if you don't know what sexuality is, it's basically a preference on who you like. And, basically, I think I'm probably Arrow Ace. Now, if you're asking what is Arrow Ace, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Arrow Ace is being aromantic and asexual. And aromantic means, basically, oh, you don't feel any romantic feelings for anybody or anyone. Being asexual, I think it means, oh, you can still get in a relationship, but you don't want to have... The you know stuff. Basically, the only reason I'm probably Arrow Ace is because I've never had a love interest. Ever. Basically, Arrow Ace means like, oh, you are not interested in love. At all. You think, well, you don't think love is nasty, it's just you don't want to enter a relationship yourself. So basically, I think I'm probably Arrow Ace because I've never had a relationship, or relationship, been in one, or have ever had a love interest. And I don't have one right now. Well, I've never had a love interest ever. Like, And also, I don't really want to enter a relationship. I feel like that's a little too stressful for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, basically, I think I'm... Basically, I'm not interested in love or anything like that. Because... Probably, uh... I probably wouldn't want to enter a relationship anyways, so yeah. I think one of my friends is the same way too, where he just doesn't want to be in a relationship. And you know what? That's okay. So basically, uh, hopefully y'all weren't mad at me or anything. I just uh, wanted to explain, like, why... Um... I'm basically not interested in love. Yes! Cupcake's posting now, but basically, hopefully y'all weren't mad at me. Just saying. I know a lot of you are probably like, does that mean you're gay? No, I'm not interested in women, okay? I just, I don't love anyone, alright? I'm not interested in love, alright? I'm just gonna say that. Hopefully you are uh, respectful of that. And if you don't support that, that's fine, but whatever. Because my mom was with one of her friends, and one of her friends asked, well, does she have a boyfriend yet? And my mom's like, uh, she's not really interested in that stuff. And I'm like, you are exactly right, mom! Because uh, she's always like, will you ever get a boyfriend? I'm like, no, bitch. Love is fucking bullshit. That's my opinion, by the way. I just don't really want to have a relationship and then, you know, get stuck. Okay, like, the only reason I don't like relationships is because of things, like, because one, like, let's say the person breaks up with me or some dumb shit and they cause drama about it. But, yeah. Basically, uh, yeah, no. I just don't really want to be in a relationship because of the things I've seen or heard about it. 
Like, I know a lot of you could be like, just because you saw bad things about a relationship doesn't mean your relationship did go bad. <laughs> but I don't really want to get in one anyways. Because of the person, the if the person who would be dating me, hypothetically, by the way, is a fucking asshole, I'd be like, fuck you, I'm breaking up with you, I don't want to see your ass. It's basically no love for me. Plus, I don't even think I'm fit to be in a relationship anyways. And also, just the thought of kind of just kissing someone else every day. It kind of just sounds nasty, in my opinion. No, most of you are just like, oh, you're just... You're only 13 years old, you don't know anything. Yeah, but... No. I am actually not interested in love ever. Because, literally, one of my classmates, he asked me out, like, 30 times, and I'm like, fuck no, fuck you! Because, one, he's annoying, two, he's kind of rude, and three, he's, uh... But anyways, I can also buy the house I want. I, I wanted to buy the estate house, because it is bigger than a family home, but it's still small enough. To where I could decorate it manageably. So I did buy the bunker house, but I did I ended up not liking it. Ah, oh, so I thought it said nine hundred twenty-seven dollars, but <coughs> sorry, I was wrong. We need we need a little bit more money, brothers. We need about thirty more bucks. Uh. I'm an idiot. Sometimes I will misread things and be like, oh, it's only this. And then I'm like, fuck, it's this. Damn it. That can happen in school, too, where like I will be reading something or doing a homework assignment. Mainly for math class, because that's the class I get the most homework in. Which is reasonable, but basically it's just like, oh, I'll read one number is that. Or I'll read decimal points literally far apart. Yeah, I literally cannot line up decimal points in a math problem. That's probably the reason I failed half of my 6th grade assignments. Because I could not line up decimal points. They did not care. But basically, the teacher, she kind of didn't really correct me on it. She didn't really correct me on, like, hey, you should line up the decimal points like this. Do not make them far apart. Also, I kind of like how the outside of Adopt Me houses are kind of realistic. Because right here would be- would need a support beam. Apparently in Adopt Me, Adopt Me says this house is too small to have a party. Really? Haha! <laughs> you should see my dad's house, man. This is basically the sides of my dad's house on the outside, minus the window on the top. Because the house is only one story, but it has, like... The parent bedroom is in the living room. The parent bedroom and the living room are two in the same room. Then the dining room and the kitchen are also in the same room, which is probably pretty common in house. Homes. <coughs> and then, uh... There's four rooms in the hallway. The one on the farthest end, on the far right, my right, is my brother's room. The third room, the second room, in the middle, right across, basically from my brother's room, is the bathroom. And then right across from the bathroom, on the left side, there is uh, the room I usually stay in, because I don't live with my dad, I only visit him. I'm not going to explain the reason why I live with my mom, because it's a just personal. He, if you didn't hear what I said, I'm basically not going to uh, explain why I live with my mom, because it's pretty personal for me. And then on the literally end of the hallway is my older stepsister's room, like, old. Older stepsister. I forgot how old she is. Cause 
Last time I heard, she was like 14. And a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, you're 13. And I'm like, yes, I am. Don't make fun of me for that, okay? <clears throat> and also, like, I feel like a lot of you don't watch my videos because I'm really loud half the time. Or, uh... Just talking too much. Because, like, some people are like, when do you stop talking? Never. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't ever talk to myself. Haha. <laughs> Literally, everybody talks to themselves. Like, you cannot lie to yourself and say, oh, I don't talk to myself, guys. You do. You won't admit it. Yeah. This room, I think I've talked about this, I'd want this bedroom in, like, real life. Like, the bed may need to be a bit bigger, because, like, realistically, if I could put, like, a PNG picture of myself on this, I'd probably, like, if I found out what my height was, which I do not know my actual height, but some of the girls at my school were like, oh, you're tall, and I'm like... That's supposed to be an insult or a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> also plants. And half of my adopt me houses, plants are necessary. I should put a plant in this corner, but I need more money. Well, I have enough money to buy plants, just, I need, I need, like, ten more bucks to buy the SD. And half the time in a dummy house, if I'm not using a room, I just take the barrier in the party category and just cover up the room. Basically, the most expensive house you can buy with bucks, here's the Lunar Home, which... Apparently, the Sandbox Island house was for, like, house builders. Some people in Adopt Me will literally make insane house builds. Like, they make whole entire full-on houses. Yeah, so basically, yeah. And then there's a Biome Dome. Bro, well, these are the same price. There's an igloo, there's dragon, party house, Hollywood house, castle. And the rest of these are Robux. Basically, the most expensive house you can buy with bucks is a luxury apartment. It's 8000 Dang, that is a lot of money. Like, how long would it take to save up to 8000 Adopt Me bucks? Okay, this posting one's going to take my fucking forever, but you know what? That's okay. Someone got a cat. Nice for them. Hey, don't I have a cracked egg somewhere? No, I don't. Because I usually thought I had a cracked egg, but no, I don't. And, uh, this donkey, somebody, some random person gave me, so thank you to random person. I don't know what their, uh, username is. I'll try to look for it in my trade history. <laughs> okay, we need to take our unicorn cupcake to school so they can get an education. Yeah, get an education, guys. Pretty please, if you can. Some people actually drop out of high school, which is their decision. My mom would not let me do that. <clears throat> and sometimes when I walk right into a fucking building, for some reason, it'll put me right in front of the door, and then I'll try to walk up, and it'll just pull me out. And I'm just like, why? Hi. How are you? 
Oh, someone said terrible, but, uh... Um, for me, I'm pretty good right now. I'm actually pretty happy. I've had pretty good days. Because my mom was like, yesterday, she must have a good day. She isn't pissy. And I'm like, why do you think I'm mad every time I have a bad day? Okay, now we have enough money to buy a house. Because I was an idiot and slipped up on how much it, the house actually was. I think one of my first family homes, I remember, like, the bottom floor was rainbow wallpaper and the top floor was a unicorn wallpaper. Or the, like, bedroom was... Okay, so I'm gonna buy the estate because it is a bit bigger. Oh my god, that that house color is horrendous. I'm gonna make it this this family home it can only be sold. I think, like, do furniture items affect your uh, house's worth? Because. I could search like tree and just buy trees. And like we'll get a couple of those of tree. Mm. And then you can also change the grid size. So that means like if it's on the small grid, things are easier to move. Do house items affect the house worth? Yes, it does. So it's only 388, but whatever, bye. No, wait. No, I meant to sell the fucking family home. I want to cry. Ugh. I literally just got up. I've only had like two hours of sleep. Yeah, cause like I went to sleep at like seven thirty. It'd be like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and then get up. No, I didn't mean to sell the estate. I was gonna. Mm. Well, whatever. I won't have money to decorate it anyways. Now I have to sell all my plants. Damn it. Make the silly. No! Oh, I have enough money to buy it. I'm gonna put it back because I accidentally sold it. After saving up for that house I wanted and wanted to decorate it, and now I literally. Wait, wouldn't a really smart thing before selling your home sell all the furniture in it to get more money and then sell the home? Because you start off with a tiny house, then you go to a family home, but the thing that sucks about family homes is you can't have parties. You could perfectly have a freaking party in here. It's probably because parties can usually have up to at least 30 people in Adopt Me. I remember a joke party I did a while back on an old account where it was like, TRADING MEGA SHADOW DRAGON. I put it in all caps on a party invitation AS A JOKE. And then I left my house and then just hid somewhere. And then people were actually going to my house because they thought I had to make a shadow. And I did it. I was wasting people's time. And I thought it was funny.
Okay, so what do you think of dining area? And yes, I know the dining chairs are couches. I don't care because they look nice. And also, I like the table. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I still have the music on. Shit. If you can't hear me over the music, I'm so sorry. But look at this tree. It's taller than my Roblox character. Well, of course it is, because Roblox characters aren't really based off of real humans. I think there are, like, other Roblox, like, bodies, like... These, that is probably somewhat realistic. Also, I have a Metalox, too. Not like y'all care, but... Cool. There's nobody here, that's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, I remember, that's my first Neon Legendary. But, uh, if a lot of you are like, how is a Neon King be your first Neon Legendary? Like, how? Basically, um, my first account, well, it's not my first account ever, but first account I ever had for longer than a day. Yes, because half my other accounts might better me for me. I forget the password to them. I need an account to the point where I could remember the um password. And basically, on that account, I remember I had like three, two ride potions. And someone offered me a Neon King V. I don't know what year it was, but. Basically, it was like, oh, um, like three, four ride potions for a uh, Neon King Bee. And of course, I was act I was super happy with the trade, because it was my first ever Neon Legendary. Even though, I think the best trade I ever got was a Fly Ride Dragon for Fly Ride Arctic Reindeer. Somebody... I'm actually dead serious about this, because I was like, Oh, somebody decided, you know what? I'm going to trade my very rare, very valuable Arctic Reindeer for just a dragon that's still going to be in the game three years later. <laughs> yeah. So basically... That was a long time ago. I don't even remember the person who traded me the Arctic Reindeer. I wonder where they are now. If some people have met and adopt me in the past, I really want to find them. Or something. But look, Penguin Lamp. Penguin Lamp is the best lamp. Well, that's my opinion. It actually does look pretty cute. Especially when on. Shower time. You gotta make sure you're squeaky clean so you don't smell like shit. Make sure you take showers, guys. And don't be smelly. Well, if you can take showers. Hopefully you can, but I think this done. Goodbye.